Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we successfully did the Kingdom of Gordonia quest. And uh, I guess we're just going to move up here this time. Yeah, that seems like a good call. I do still have to do this, but uh, I'm a little bit pressed for time today too. Having uh, four active things going on is uh, eating into my into my time here, but uh, we should be fine. I should be finishing up one of them pretty soon, so that'll be good. All right, let's go ahead and move ahead. This should also get us to the 75% of the map explored, so. Let's just uh, go ahead and work on that as best we can. Zenoira. Uh, hi. Let's be after them. Yeah. No use. I can scarcely see my hand before my face in this snow. Not even us bestrals dare traverse this expanse. The land is blighted by blizzards nigh the entire year round. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the witch that somebody mentioned summons the blizzards, right? Yet if Zenora's lapdogs were willing to brave it... Then they're looking for the bloom. There's no other reason. But Ramona's the only one who knows where it is. Would they really risk their lives in this cold, without even a clue to steer them in the right direction? In any case, an enemy is an enemy, no matter the weather. We prepare for combat at once. Unify's gotta be cold in that attire. In a blizzard? Like, you, you got some pretty warm looking boots, but you are wearing a skirt, and you do have some exposed skin around your arms and everything. That's gotta be rough. Uh, alright, so are we just gonna... I guess we're just gonna do that. I mean... There's a few other things. Ah, uh, there is a Pistorius Cemetery. A Bowman Hero and Staveman Heroes Monument? I don't even know what those two things are. But, uh, there's a Stone Circle and some various other things hanging out over here. Um... We'll take care of that, you know. At some point, though, I don't I don't feel the need to rush over there to take care of it right now. Zador reinforces on the march toward the Pistorius Blue. The Liberation pushes through the heavy snowfall of the Baron Tundra in order to keep it out of their hands. Good, good. <sighs> it's freezing out here. Okay, there's there's our uh, there's our witch. Who did I offend to get? Stationed in the middle of this godforsaken tundra. Actually, I guess you're not the one that they were talking about. That was the witch that causes the blizzards to happen. I'm pretty sure that was the thing we heard one of the bestrals say. But you're probably more my boss for this level. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like our commanders are from another century entirely. Ma'am, we've spotted a group that appears to be the rebel army, and they're heading in our direction. What did you just say? Right when I was looking for a place to vent my frustration, too. I mean, you do realize coats exist, right? Get yourself some layers. Send word to all garrisons. We go on high alert. Now. This blizzard will be the perfect cover to strike our enemies down. I'm imagining blizzards are going to cause low visibility, if I had to guess. It'll be like a forest. Gotta say, not a fan of this blizzard stuff. How are we supposed to fight in this? Through the use of Farsight, of course. There's a Valor skill capable of expanding your field of vision, thus aiding our advance through such difficult terrain. Having said that, we have no way of knowing how much territory the enemy holds amidst this blizzard. Let us make for the harbor to the north. We can lay claim to the surrounding garrisons on the course of our journey. Stay vigilant, everyone. There's no telling what manner of enemy lies beyond the Shroud of Snow. Okay. Well, this seems, uh, not convenient. Oh my god, it's a huge map, too. Oh my god. <laughs> it is very large. Wow, it feels like I'm playing- it feels like I'm back to playing, like, Age of Mythology or Age of Empires. I can't even prep which- like, there's no point in me even, like, prepping my squads. I don't even know what enemies I'm- Well, I, I could see, you know, when we started the level, what enemies I was fighting, but... Wow, okay. Um... Well, we definitely want to... We definitely want a Bestral Squad. Um... 
to... Well, I guess we don't technically need a Bestral squad. I just need Ramona in a squad. So... Let's take out... Raylanor from this one. And put in Ramona. Yeah, you have... Grinderer, Ravalli's 50 accuracy. At night, makes the tar next target's attack a true strike. And grants HP regeneration to a row of allies, grants targets plus 50 magic defense. And then reduce damage taken by allies for one attack. Remove all the buffs from a single enemy. And okay, so you got, you got some pretty good stuff. Uh, passive seal immunity is pretty good. Okay, um, as far as other things go, minor HP restoration. For minor HP to one ally above their limits. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna want to put on you. Wing rest. No. Quick barrier. Hmm. Yeah, I mean your basic stuff's kind of better than a lot of that. Let's give you some evasion. Let's give you a lapis pendant. I just took that off of Osh, who was in another one of the squads. Uh, and otherwise, I don't really know what I, what else I would want on you at the moment. Gold bangle. Oh, that's a really good one. Uh, yeah, you can have that stuff. <clears throat> the only thing I worry about with the squad is now because of that. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're not really gonna be looking too strong here. Roll of Allies plus 50 accuracy. I mean, they're both already really accurate. I feel like it'd be better just to put it on our squad on the back row. So, let's prioritize the back row with night vision. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. So, there we go. We got a lanes unit. Let's move you out. Okay, far sight. Increases visibility by 100% and assist range by 50%. Uh, okay, so it is, um, you do use it on a group of allies, so that is the case. Let's see here. Hmm. This unit's pretty good. Let's use this unit. Let's get going already. So. We are going to Farsight. Yes, both of these units. Stronger than ever. Okay, I mean, that doesn't help much, but it helps a little bit, I guess. This is a very interesting fight. Okay, we got three enemies headed our way. Uh-oh. Okay, we handle them just fine. Also, uh, I couldn't afford that Bestral Slaying Axe, could I? I have a Bestial Slaying Bow, though. We do have that, but I don't have anyone that would really benefit from it a ton. Because you're using Wind Arrow as your main attack and then Mystic Conferral, so... You wouldn't benefit too much from it. Good. Alright, so... We beat them pretty easily. Nice. I mean, this, this Farsight ability feels very niche. And by, by niche, I mean it feels like, you know, it would mostly just be useful in maps like this, or like the Sandstorm maps that we dealt with at 1.2. Um, so, that is interesting. Uh, let's get, let's get this group out. And the reason I want to get this group out is because I want to give you the, uh, where is it at? Silver Moon Bow, Beast Slayer. Attack a row of enemies, inflicts AP minus one, PP minus one, yeah. You do lose accuracy and crit rate, but it seems quite good. Uh, currently have dual shot, row shot, attack a row of enemies. I have so many of these set up. We can get rid of the eagle eye for elven enemies because we're not even really seeing them that much anymore. Um, okay, so... I want to add in a Beast Slayer, put it all the way at the top, and then enemies present 
Bestral Enemy's Presence. And then attack a row with... Uh, row with two plus combatants. So if there are beasts present, we, we use that to attack a row. Preferably with beasts in it, I guess. I guess not Bestral Enemies present. Let's just set it as uh, Bestral. So it'll only attack if we're attacking a row of Bestral with two plus combatants. Okay. That looks good to me. Who's my target? All right, and right. you get out there. Uh, Ready you keep to move. moving too. Okay, so we don't have to worry about anybody coming from this side, I guess. Uh, garrison, huh? I got you. Okay, you they do something? okay. They do terribly, which makes sense. Yep. So let that squad go in. Looks good to I'm me. Here. No running. How I'll much? Uh, oh, cool. <clears throat> If I range assist, they just don't take any damage. So we will go ahead and do one of those. I love seeing this squad in action. They're just so strong. They're so incredibly strong. Look at them go. They actually used their attacks before we used our Eye of the Warrior Princess. Nice parry! They did get a dodge, though. Having a... Ramona and this squad actually to give them true slash or true strike in the front row would actually be quite good since they're not terribly accurate. Okay, yep. <laughs> Thank you, Alvin. Oh, they're super dead. <laughs> this squad is fun. I like them a lot. I mustn't grow complacent. There you go. I won't hold you back. Curse Swamp. There it is. Activates at the start of battle. Inflicts initiative minus 10, evasion minus 30 on all enemies. Inflicts PP minus 1 to cavalry targets. I wonder if I'm stronger than Lady Ocleus. Sacred Heal. Restore moderate HP to a row of allies. Remove all of target's debuffs. Okay. Those are some pretty good skills we need to, uh... We need to think about putting on here. So... Curse Swamp... I will set that so it only activates when there's cavalry. Um, so if there are cavalry enemies present, we will use that. Otherwise, we'll just stick to magic barrier and quick curse. Uh, which seems fine to me. And then you got sacred heal. Which restore moderate HP to a row of allies. Remove all of the targets debuffs. <coughs> hmm. Let's set this to target HP is minus is lower than fifty percent. Hmm. Moderate HP to an ally. I mean, you would only be able to heal once if I had you use this. I could also set it to target only combatants with debuffs, but we already have refresh. Yeah. Which is... Is that given to me by something? It is not. Uh, also the Cleric's Cane. Do I have something better for you? At this point? Because I, I want the plus one PP, but... Yeah, the Cleric's Cane... And Defender's Mace... Yeah. No, the Defender's Mace is just the worst version of the Cleric's Cane. Alright. <clears throat> I am fine with that. So, yeah, target HP, um, lowest percent HP, I guess this is fine because if there's a target below 50% HP, mm, no, I don't know, because like, yeah, it removes all the target's debuffs, but... I just don't know. Because currently we already have Refresh handling this. And then Heal is handling this. So... 
Like, being able to restore a row of allies. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, row is attacked. Oh, it's only when the user's row is attacked, though. I thought it was going to be like any row is attacked. Like, anytime an entire row is attacked, you would use this, basically. Hmm. Yeah. Activates only when the user's row is attacked. Then we do that. Yeah. Let's let's do that, I guess. I mean, it would be useful for healing the front line, but... I feel like heal is just as good. And I already have refresh to take to get rid of the debuffs. Okay. What do you do? <clears throat> I'm uh, obsessing over this a little bit too much. Understood. All right. Uh, and we lost oh. our buff, which is not good. It's the first garrison secured. Still, it's pretty tough going out here. Not exactly what I'd call ideal conditions. In that case, I should just use one of these. Yeah, I was about to say we should probably use the farsight crystals in this particular mission, huh? Magical items of this variety can enhance visibility in an entire area, no matter the environs. Apologies for not mentioning it earlier, but I have a skill that can do much the same. So feel free to call on me if you need a hand. Ah, and yeah, you you also have that. Ready to move. Clairvoyance, yeah. Okay, let's pop this. Aha! Do you need so there you are, and we can take them out. Looks good to me. All right. So oh, I'm seeing we're in the range of something hanging out over there. We also get extra accuracy when inside this, which is cool. I never miss my target. There you go, squad. Yeah, I'm guessing Travis was doing some heavy lifting there. To strength. They're beaten. I'm ready. Cool. Understood. All right. And getting a lane. I don't mean to alarm you, Your Highness, but our command post is on the verge of being captured. Either use a conveyance stone or deploy further units. Otherwise, we shall surely suffer defeat. Yeah, so... You're cheeky. They were flying over the mountain to get to us. I was wondering if that was going to happen at some point. Because we did have that area back there. Um, and it seems like, yes, it was. Let's see, it's thieves and... Hmm... I mean, I'm... They can probably oh, take win. them. What would you have me do? Yeah. Nearly. I'm on my way. Can nearly take them out. But yeah, I was wondering if that was going quick. to be a thing they were going to try to pull at some point. <clears throat> the little jerks. To the skies. Oh. There's a conveyance crystal. Yeah. Cheeky. I won't lose. I mean, I had in my mind that that was going to happen, the although I really, truly did not expect that they would fly over the mountains. I was more so expecting them to, like, spawn over or come in over here and get me, I guess. What would you have me do? From the back. Understood. I've arrived. Okay, so let's Good. see Who's my target? what else is over here. You can kind of see on the map a little. Right. Ready to uh... Move. We march. Let's see, your Project. ability... It does only cost one. Let's see what's going on over here. Aha. So... Okay, we have those to deal with. <laughs> we don't even do damage to those. Okay. Understood. So, let's do some of this. And... It looks like I can mostly kill you. Hey, I'm here. What do you need? All right, Alban, we're walking into danger if we go over there, so I'm a little bit, a little bit scared of that. Let's uh, use one of those farsight crystals. There has not been many situations where I would want to use these, so. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, come on, and we need Morden, but Morden's over there. What do you need? Oh, that sucks. Uh, Aubin, do you have the... Okay, yeah, we, we have Barrier Breaker. That's good. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah. You know. How about, uh, we did just get one of these. Where's it at? Teleport to you. Oh, it's just a, oh yeah, it's just allied facilities. That's right. I just can't teleport wherever I want to. That'd be too busted. Um. I got you. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, we can take them out pretty easily. I'm mostly just worried about that ballista. Um. Do we have, like, something that does the smoke bomb effect? I think I've mentioned this before. I don't think we do. Targeted enemy unit moves towards beckoning chime. Hmm. I can throw a magic bomb to get rid of uh, the mines over there. This feels like a, a level where they're definitely going to want us to use a lot of items. <laughs> okay, so they're doing their thing over here. We just need to figure out how to make this work. Okay, let's uh, get in there. Uh oh, it's about to shoot us. Get out of there. I think we can find a use. Trying to bait it so it doesn't. There we go. Okay, yeah, pull the stupid enemy out of its out of its support, and then we can kill them without getting attacked, preferably. There you go. Not even surprised. Good. Just keep getting tougher. All right. So there we go. Ambushed you in the forest. Time is at hand. Not to be detected by enemy units for 20 seconds ends upon initiating a battle. Hmm. What do you need? <clears throat> this you got it. seems like a fun level just to experiment with the various items that I have. So I think I'm going to try and do that. Uh, we are going to get kind of bodied going in there. It's mostly just those werebears. I'm imagining they also... Let's see, night vision. Uh, at night makes the next target's attack a true strike. Yeah, so they're getting... They're getting buffed by that. Which would mean that's the only reason they're even able to hit Travis. I'm ready. Okay. Travis, you're just gonna hang out right there then. And then I have plans for you. Ready to move. Uh, use this. Uh huh. I got so now I can't be targeted, right? There now. Yes. All right. So if I use an item, that is my next question. If I use an item, does uh, does it stop this effect? Ready to move. Because I would like to throw down a magic bomb to get rid of some of these barricades. So it's not entering a battle. Okay, good. You. We're good. Now let's get in there and kill them. You yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Do I have enough time though? This should be quick. Okay. So they're done. They got the magic assist from that squad. Just, I'll handle this. Okay, you rest. I've got to wait for, like, night to end, so they're not buffed anymore. Because currently they're they're buffed. Right? I think, I think you can tell by, like, how glowy they are, that they are indeed buffed. Do you need something? I mean, we should be winning that fight if they're, if it's not nighttime, so... We yeah. Okay, get in there. You still have your cloaking. Got something. Giant's canopy, that's fine. Alright. So, Shoot we're gonna up. get shot, but that's fine. Pretty tough, huh? And Pretty. now we take out you. And now Elaine's free to just move in here. Actually, maybe I should send Elaine after... No. Those werebears are scary. Okay, so Elaine, you just come up here. Um, do I have somebody that would fare a bit better against them? Maybe your unit. Right, any distance, Bailey. Say the word. It might be good. 
Eh. I mean, if I weaken them with Travis's squad first, maybe. My steed is swifter than the wind. Uh, this is going to hurt, Try but to this fun, yeah? I think we'll still generally be fine. Ready to move. All right, cap that. How about that? Okay, there we go. Get a little bit of extra visibility there. I'm ready. All right, so if we run in with you, you are going to take pretty big damage. Now the question is. Who am I hurting here? Because if I can kill one of the units, uh, my cavalry squad will have a lot easier time. But if I can't kill one of the units, we're gonna have a very bad time. <laughs> so, uh, I'm really hoping that Rolf here... Shadow Bite, attack a row of enemies, inflict blindness... Yeah... Evasion is good. Um, you are using... Yes, Beast Slayer, best roll, row with two plus combatants. Okay, that is exactly what I want you doing. Okay, um, I think we're just I think we're just gonna head in there, and then once the cavalry unit gets here, they'll be weakened, so we'll have a little bit easier time pushing them out. It's fine. So, uh, how many more item uses do I have? Seven. Um. I don't know if the defensive would save us, honestly. And I kind of want to save it to use more interesting items. So, let's see how this goes. I want to see that Rolf attack, or Rolf attack go off. Okay, good. And then this is wasted on the Shadow Bite. That's beautiful. Oh, but you use it again. Damn it. That's annoying. Yeah, they just keep, they just keep using that circle barrier. Okay, okay, we get it. There's the circle barrier again. Yeah, three of them is a lot. There's the guard seal, though. Okay, that's not gonna do anything to you anyway. I wish you could, like, deprioritize armored units. Okay, yeah, that did absolutely nothing on the back line because they have high magic defense. So, that was the incorrect thing to do with you, but... Oh, come on, really? I thought you were gonna attack the back row! Damn it. I was gonna ho I was hoping you would prioritize the back row, I guess... Yeah... And, yeah, you couldn't evade because they had the... the guaranteed, so that's what happened there. Rolf didn't do what I wanted you to do. You attack the front row because, yeah, it's the one right in front of you. But I couldn't have you prioritize back row. Hmm. God, I need to, like, set up multiple of these. Hmm. Because, yeah, hitting in the front row was not worthwhile at all. Let's just do... Let's change it to back row. And, uh... Bestral. Let's see. Uh, back row, combatant type, bestral. Um, see, this is the problem, because... Hmm. Hack a row of enemies, prioritize. Let's once again have this target mainly the back row. I guess we know. We should take that off. Um... See, what I want to do is have back row Bestral, but there are some times where there's like werewolves in the front row where it would be useful to attack those. I just wish there was like a, like here, like a, a, a combatant type, like deprioritize armored units. Like, so you could, you know, just have a thing that you set up that's like, hey, don't attack this type of unit. There's not something like that, right? Unit size, own condition, own HP, enemy's presence. Yeah, I mean, enemy's presence, I guess, is the closest I can get. But yeah, I won't, like, deprioritize armored, because I basically never want my archer to shoot an armored unit. Alright, we'll just have it set up like that Prepare instead. They still don't do well what enough. Do? Okay, wait, you guys fare pretty well. Understood. Get a- no, stop. Can I assist? 
Not like that. Now then. Mike Griffin's nervous. Oh shit. Wait. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a unit back there hitting us that was yet yeah, not being factored in before. Okay, so attack. Okay. Now I think you have it. No? I guess they are tanky. I guess they are tanky. I'm gonna word. send you just to kill these. I ride at once. No, stop it. I hope I can help. I mean you can still you can you can fight them kind of, but what would you have me stop. Do? You face me. Okay, that's fine. We have that handled. I can't wait for my next fight. But yeah, being able to like deprioritize tank units would be phenomenal. Also, how much of this map do we have cleared out? Oh, we're actually doing okay. It's kind of a small map, probably because you gotta, you know, crawl through it. Okay, they're gonna get healing, but that's not gonna help you. Was never in doubt. Good. All right, and we still can't do anything about them. You have the best chances of actually doing any legitimate damage. Yeah, what an annoying squad. But have I have to, to kill them before those things get back up. Because this just anything. not going to work out otherwise. If the if the wear owls get back up, we're in trouble. Uh. Mm, can anybody? We can't like swap. Yeah. Uh, let's How see. You this? have... Reduces damage taken by 20% for any allies within. Let's try that. For you 20 seconds. Maybe this will help anything. a little. You still I'll take 160. Okay. I mean, they take slightly Do less. Do you mm. need something? Yeah, there's just not a lot to... Actually help me out here. I hope I can help. Yeah. I mean, we just kind of got to wear them down, I guess. I won't lose. Preferably before... God, they just have so much HP. Really say the word. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah. Simple matter. Yeah, let's just, let's just wear them down. My steed is swifter than the wind. Okay, we're going to take 84, which means Miriam is going down. But that's fine, because we at least took out one of the damn things. Okay, now we just gotta kill them before... Can I assist? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, really guys? Five damage? Huh. Oh my god. This squad should be able to help a little bit once they... You'll never win. Get in. Chaos shall never reign again. God, I'm very much like just banging my head against this at the moment, but... Who's okay, my finally. Target? Uh, 44. I'm prepared for anything. Okay, now they I win. I hope I can help. Okay. Do you need something? Just, just let them go at it. It's fine. <sighs> of the lance is all I, I needed a warrior down here besides just Morden, because they got messed up earlier. That was a very annoying squad to deal with at night. Oh wait, you know what? Shit, I just remembered. Really say the word. Isn't there an item that I have had no reason to care about up until this point that changes the time of day? Isn't there an item like that? Conveyance. Conveyance crystal, conveyance stone. Steel trap, magic mine. I could have sworn there was something like that. Or is it an ability somebody has? No, here we go. Inverts the position. Yeah, the Dream Blossom. I only have one, though. So that's kind of scary to use. But yeah, we do have a Dream Blossom, which if I ever find myself in that situation again, where it's a lot dealing with a squad like that, we can uh, use one of those. Um, Heading there now. You can cap that. I'm prepared for anything. They can go deal with this squad. What would, you have me do? would you fare better? Yes. I'm on okay, my way. You go deal with that squad then. The position is ours. <sighs> okay. Spooky. 
It's another garrison down, though I'm pretty sure there's still more out there somewhere. Judging by their numbers, only one such garrison should remain. We know what to do. Find our way through the blizzard and take it as our own. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Can beat you up. Alright, so... I mean, we could have you just fire on them. We do have what we need there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to take a nap. There you go. Okay, so... You get in there, start firing. God, I was about to say, how are they still alive? Demonic Pact. Activates after using an active skill. Sacrifice 25% HP to grant the user a plus one. Hmm. I need to study this further. I move forward in the light of the divine. That could be good on you. You face me. Uh, that's a problematic squad. We do have some magic damage to help us with it, though. We march. Uh, can you Queen shoot me. them? Yeah. Just do that. Uh, so you. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh, I have this set up. The attack a single enemy damage increases the- I just realized I have this set to target HP, not own HP. So own HP is less than 50%. I mean, you've been using Dark Flame pretty much every single fight anyway, so it probably didn't make that much of a difference, but yeah, that needs to be set to own HP. Venomax, single enemy, increased damage less, yeah, Demonic Pact. Own HP is less than 25%. Activates after being attacked. For being attacking, uh, so one HP. Hmm. So we can change this to like, own HP is less than fifty percent. For attacking with an active, for being attacked, after using an active. So let's do this. If own HP is like, uh, seventy-five percent or greater HP, we'll activate that. So seventy-five percent or greater, you'll activate that. Twenty-five percent or lower, you'll activate toughness. Um. After being attacked, if your own HP is less than 50%, yeah, we'll activate that, and then own HP before attacking, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. There's always small things to fix with so many other characters and stuff, because there's just so many ways to screw up in this game. Okay, I think they're dead to the Ballista, so we will go this way. This is nothing. Let's Never see what's going on. Kid. Warhorn makes all allies' attack skills unguardable is just... Just stupid. It's so good. Um... And it's way better than Parting Blow and Frenzied Strike in my opinion, so... I'm going to make it where... Uh... Enemies presence... If there... Are armored enemies... You are going to use this. There you go. Like, once again, I don't know what all is considered an armored enemy. Like... Are the, the war bears still considered an armored enemy? Uh... Like, they're clearly armored and supposed to be like a tank. But... You know... Hmm. Maybe this is something I look up. I couldn't find anything. What I'm what I'm hoping is the case is like the were bears, for example, are considered armored and bestral, so they activate both of those things. But having that set up just so you know, if we're against some enemies that have uh, that that guard a bunch, uh, would be good. I can't think of any of these other type of specific enemies that I would want that. Maybe cavalry. We've dealt with some tanky cavalry, but there's also really tanky infantry that guards a lot too. So, I, I don't know. I still think generally I like it more than just having these two things procking like twice in a fight. Warhorn's really, really good, so... But obviously I don't want it to proc in a fight where there's just not anybody that's going to be guarding... ...anyway. Yep. Alright, let's uh... let's pop this. 
But yeah, I couldn't really find much information about it uh, online, unfortunately, so. Let's do, like, over here. I think I maybe saw a base over there. Yes. Yes, I did. And these appear to be mountains. There's another item back there. Alright. What do you need? Get in there. Head in there now. Alright, now what about this squad? How are we doing over here? We're doing we're doing. Um Do you need something? Let's send you over here right. to grab that. How can uh, I let's put you into the garrison so that you can I revive know. Miriam. And help. you can get into the watchtower so we can get a little bit better view here. Fortune smiles upon us. Now then, yes. Okay, we can Over see that there's one down here. We saying. can take them out. Oh. Barricade. Okay, so how do we fare against them? Terribly. Ready this squad, I imagine, is going to do a little bit better. Not much, though. Yeah, it's those breakers. Um. Hmm. I do have enough for a lane to give us both uh, the buff. Royal or er, Valorous Order, yeah, so. Just get in there, and we'll Valorous Order each other. And that'll probably help out a fair bit. I'm trying to make sure I get most of the items here, too. You can luckily kind of see them a little bit through the uh, storm. Heading there now. The blizzard. But uh, I would not be surprised if I missed one because of how well they're hidden. Alright, so keep walking. I found something. Yeah, it seems like it's just a bunch of conveyance stones and stuff hiding out because you need them so much here. There we are. Excellent. And how about we summon an archer? And do we fare any better? Okay, we fare a lot better with Albin's unit. Okay. That's good. Yep. And then we'll send in. The time is at hand. Uh, we'll royal order a lane, and then a lane can go in and finish. Stronger than ever. All right, get in there. This is the place. We march to me. So good. I think we can find a use for this. Ooh, defensive is good. So with the ranged the assist, they still don't die, but that's fine. <sighs> All right. There's our curse swamp because there's some cavalry. God, I, I really do like you a lot. There's the powerful call. There we go. Watch and learn. Uh oh. Oh, they're they're buffing. Oh, they're buffing. Here's the wide breaker. Alright, I mean, I, I think we pretty much know how this fight's going at this point, so that's good. Had to take care of something there, but we should be good now. Your villainy ends here. There we go. Get your XP, friends. Got more where that came from. Good job, Liza. And Berenice. Vengeful Guard activates for being hit by physical. Lock an enemy and grants these are plus 20% attack. Make her dream a reality. Your field grants an all allies a buff that negates a single debuff. My strength grows by leaps and bounds. That is very good, actually, Ridiel. Wow, that is a uh, that's a good skill. That's a very, very good skill. Yeah. The only problem is, is if I use it, I don't get to use party aid at the end of battle. Um. Hmm. Yeah. And party aid is very strong. Uh, what I could do is just take this off and give you a uh, lapis pendant instead. Let's just do that. Most of your damage isn't coming from your actual attacks anyway. 
So there we go. Now it's basically back to normal. All right, get in there. Is that the final garrison? They said there was one more. Fine work, everyone. The final garrison is ours. Indeed. All that remains now is freeing the harbor to the north from Denora's reign. Oh. Oh, there is more. Okay. So, uh, you go grab that. Elaine squad, head over here. And then we can look into utilizing some of this. Uh... I have the valor points, so let's just use... Um, not you. Your ability did not mean to cancel your movement. Clairvoyance. Here we go. So this? Is this where you're talking about? Uh, there it is. Okay, we f we found it. All right. So you run in there. They're probably gonna get demolished. Yes. But this squad has true strike. We'll still get demolished. Do you need something? Um. Yeah, and that squad would obviously get demolished as well. Um. Hmm. We will get the extra accuracy from here. Not that I think it'll matter too much, but we will survive if you attack. So get in there and attack them. Oh, we can also hit up the uh, the heels. That might help us a little. Another step forth. Spinning edge. Attack a row of enemies. Ignores 50% of the target's defense and grants the user plus one PP if the target is defeated. That's pretty good, Elaine. Hold on. Huh. Hmm. Ignores 50% of the target's defense, and I mean, you have pretty high attack. And so, let's set a condition, though. So target HP is, like, below 50%. You do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong. Okay. The path is set. I hope I can help. Let's have you go to the camp, actually. We can camp up. Uh... Looks like there's still an enemy down there. Majesty, I'm so cold. Give me, Chloe. I should know better than to idle in this frigid weather. Come, everyone. We must put an end to this battle at once, lest the snowfield becomes our untimely grave. Okay. That felt like a warning for time, but it wasn't, actually. To me. Interesting. Heal. There we go. Okay, now we fare much, much better against them. I just want to kill the remaining enemies. No running. And uh, buff up here. Wasn't even worried. Or not buff up here, but uh, grab this and then they should win. We'll way. attack them Splendid. just to get them kind of low on HP. I have a bad feeling about this. It goes fine. Look at that. Uh, we did technically get beaten though. So. I've arrived. <laughs> do, oh, I thought there was an item right here. I guess we already picked that up. The path is set. Yeah, I think I must have run into it just a little bit earlier. All right, Good now you just that. go in there and finish that. They're gonna heal if I'm not careful. Fortune smiles upon us. Which would be terrible. Good. I okay. Can use some assistance. Will they win? No. No, they will not. Um. This might be a struggle. I could dragoon dive them, and then we'll probably win. Get in there, Kablamma. Okay, that's twenty damage just like that. I'm barely holding on. <laughs> oh my god, no! You survive with seven HP. Ah, pain. Was really hoping that was going to be enough to finish you. Okay, so now they're going to... Get enough to heal. Um... Alright, we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to run you in here. They are going to heal, unfortunately, so all their squad will be back, but Elaine should still be able to win. I was really hoping that last second gambit there would, uh... 
would be enough, but unfortunately, no. I also wanted to show your dialogue, so. Finally, something to take my mind off this horrid weather. I had honestly almost forgotten about Deborah's existence. She got like that first line at the beginning, and then was kind of nothing after that. You'll regret ever setting foot on our land, minion of Zenora. Will not fail. All right. Allow me. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Oh no, not my buffs. Oh no, not initiative up. You missed. Okay. This is just a bunch of like buffing and despelling buffs and Happy with that? everything. All right. Well, Elaine is about to about to destroy them in just a second as soon as he gets his action. So it's gonna happen. Thank you for more more of that. Weakness hunter. Oh my god. Yeah. That hurt. I mean, once Elaine uses his attack... Yeah, okay, they don't have anything to block with. Wee! <laughs> and this is complete and utter overkill, but cool, I guess. Alright. Yeah, that went okay. Yeah, see, the beginning of these fights, now that we start to... Now that we have, like, five characters and stuff... So much of it is just, you know, um, a ton of buffs going off and canceling of those buffs and things. So, good job, squad. My arrows fly even farther now. Victory grows ever closer. All right, it's ours. Ice Storm Staff, Blizzard, Freeze Immunity, Evasion plus ten. Inflict, uh, attack all enemies with magic. Inflicts freeze. That is pretty neat. It does suck that it takes uh, such a long time to go off, and of course you can't use passives or anything. That's the only thing I don't like about the charge skills is, yeah, you can't evade or use passives. Because so many of these characters have really, really good passives too. So you have to specifically build the squad around that if you want to utilize it. There we go. Big score. Big honors. I'm already S rank renowned. Looks like that's everything taken care of. And the blue lies in the cavern just ahead. Let us be off. There it is. Here it is. The Bastoris Blue. And what do we do now that we have it? The moment Zenoira began marching on this cave, it no longer served its purpose as shelter. We will have to find a new spot to stash it away from prying eyes. God, I love the look of this cave. Look at how peaceful this place looks. Huh! The blue! You little shit! <laughs> I never dreamed it would be this easy. What's the meaning of this? The meaning is that I played you for fools. The moment you heard we were after the stone, you would surely have to go check on it. Yeah, I mean, that's like the oldest trick in the book. Oh no, the stone's hidden somewhere. The enemy's looking for it. We have to go get it ourselves. Walk right to where the stone is hidden. Just as the great and mighty Elgor thought you would. Then Conrad running his mouth at the capital was just another part of your plan. Now, if you would, Lord Ryan, I present to you. The Bastorius Blue. Excellent work. So you're the monster in charge around here. That's Lord Ryman to you, beast. But I tire of this. Thankfully, my magic will make quick work of you. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. This is the same spell that torments our kin. Yeah, it's the berserk magic that's that they've been using. <laughs> Come, Elgor. We're done here. Stop giving all of my friends rabies. <laughs> How far the mighty lion falls. Enjoy your eternal sleep once you've torn your friends apart. 
The pendant. Okay, we have another jewelry MacGuffin. Yay! Well, not a MacGuffin, technically, but... We have another very convenient piece of jewelry that solves the problem that's uh, right in front of us. Yay! Jewelry wins the day again. What manner of vision is this? A mere dream? No, a memory. This was the battle where I... I... I remember now. I'm no lion at all. What? Huh. Interesting. I hope he's okay. Worry not. Ramona is seeing to his ails as we speak. And I bring good news. His condition has stabilized. I expect he'll be up and roaring again ere long. <sighs> I'm so glad. Perhaps it would be best to explain his... circumstances, though. This will only take a moment. Uh-huh. And he can recall nothing from before that point? I can't imagine how such a thing must feel. Indeed. It also means we know very little of his lineage. His family, his birthplace, none of it. It's the same for me, actually. I can't remember the slightest detail from before I met Ramona. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's been almost eight years now since Ramona took us both in. I was still pretty little though, so my memory's kind of foggy. I remember being on a battlefield just lying there. I knocked on every door in the area, yet sadly failed to find even a trace of Unifi's parents. And the only clue toward Morard's past was the Bistorius Blue which he was clutching tight to his breast when I first found him. Neither of us had anywhere we could call home. At least, not that we knew of. So we started living with Ramona. Which is when she became your adoptive mother. By the by, Unifi, about that pendant of yours. Morard, are you sure you should be out of bed? I'm fine. Forgive me for worrying you, but my health is secondary to the blue. We have to get it back, no matter the cost. Where could Ryman have run off to? Dracodorina Citadel to the west. I'm almost certain. The city serves as Anoira's primary foothold in Bistorius, making it a natural destination for their most valued commander. Then we know where he must go. And considering all the hurt he's inflicted on the Bestrals, we can't let him walk free. We hurry west to Dracodorina. Oh, right. You wanted to ask me something about my pendant. Haste is the order of this day, and so it shall be. There will be time for questions later. As long as you're sure. Come on, then. An ultramarine pendant with an azure gleam. Not to mention Morard's reaction to it. Mm-hmm. Perhaps this explains why the enemy wants the blue so desperately. Ah, okay. Okay, so you're saying the the blue probably has the ability to undo the, whatever magic Raymond is putting on people. And clearly Unifi's pendant is made of the same thing, I suppose. So they want to get access to it just so that there's no way to counteract their magic. That makes- that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. I really shouldn't be doing this, but, uh... We- I- I have set a goal of doing one of the romances in episodes, so, um... Let's go see if we can just max someone out real quick. I got a Vorpal Rod. 
Pretty sure Raymond's camped out somewhere to the west of here. This road should take us in the right direction. Okay, well, we'll get back to this in but a moment. But first off, what I want to do is look at some things. Um, I don't want to spend my money this time because, you know, run it, running so low on money is becoming a problem with me not being able to get good equipment. So I think what I'm going to instead do is try to max some people out by just giving them things they like. Um, so let's go just finish off Clive. Uh, I think that's probably a good call. You seem like you're pretty close. So, uh, and I, I have gems to give you, which I know you like. Ha! Hiya! Yeah, you having a fun time training? Slow now. You should let me ride with you, sir. When I grow up, I want to be a knight just like you. Aww. It's a fine thing to aspire to indeed. Now then, I must be off. I'll wait until my friends hear about this. Hello there, your highness. That was kind of you to do, Clive. Though you and Adel are both of noble lineage, you never let such matter hin matters hinder your relationship with the common man. As is our duty as Knights of the Ashen Blue, status and station are nigh meaningless here in our province. To join our order, all one needs is the talent to hold a blade and the ambition to see their journey through. One such as that boy from earlier? But of course, so long as he truly wishes to become a knight. Think of Berenice and her lack of horse. Being born to commoner parents, she couldn't afford a steed of her own. And while she claims it's due to her dislike of the beast, she simply never had the opportunity to learn. Yet while she stood with our order, she was every ounce our equal. Point well made. In truth, I always believed a knight had to come from noble birth. Cornea is a nation of great history, your highness. Of great noble families who have endured for centuries, while those beneath them are resigned to subsist off their land. Most knights, on the other hand, belong to the lower nobility, a class fully subservient to those more illustrious houses. And while you might expect such vassalage to be a positive thing, it is often rife with abuse and exploitation. Yet the province of the Ashen Blue exists to upend such a system. As has been its purpose ever since King Gerard granted our order the land we stand upon. My grandfather, the Sacred Blade of Cornea, I only knew him from portraits I've seen on the castle walls myself. What fine an image they must have painted. He truly was a master of the sword, as his name suggests. But from what I understand, he often questioned the morality of royal rule. Why did he deserve to lead the nation simply because of the lineage in which he was born? Yeah. It was that doubt which led him to frequently roam the land, enlisting to his service any able subject he came across, no matter their birth. Tis a spirit which the Ashen Blue carries forth to this day in our rejection of minutia like title or status. We are all knights under the same banner, equals in every way imaginable. Yeah. Knights of the Ashen Blue are cool. Though as you might expect, such bold proclamations have never garnered the support of the upper nobility. Aw, oh, they can suck it, it's fine. In fact, they've ever despised our order for tarnishing the legacy of their storied houses. While we swore allegiance to only one sovereign, the great King R Gerard, who bestowed this province upon us. And thus, her territory has served as a deterrent to the nobility's influence, and the cornerstone of a lasting peace in the region. Some story indeed, Clive. I understand now why you declined to join my royal guard. Was that a pride for your homeland? And the will to see the ideals carried through to the next generation of knights? I only hope I didn't bore you with the tale, your highness. You did no such thing. It's clear to me now that I know almost nothing about my own kingdom. Please, you mustn't speak so ill of yourself. In the future, Clive, I wish to hear more of this province, and of your life within its borders, should you be willing to share. I would be most honored. Yeah, no, sounds like a cool place. Alright. Well, that was, a, that was a neat one. Provided a lot of uh, extra context there. There is also this thing at the Royal Mausoleum that um, I was going to do at the beginning of this episode, but I wanted to make sure that we had enough time for a fight. So I did the fight first to see how much time we had left after. Um, but we can peek in... Is, I just want to see what it's about. Here we are, the Royal Mausoleum. From what I understand, the Sacred Blade will reveal itself to he whom the souls of Cornea's forebears deem worthy. Go forth, my prince, lay claim to your birthright. Is, th is this like a fight, or a challenge, or...? Hi? <gasps> Gerard! You who bear the blood of Cornean kings, unsheathe your blade and assert your rightful place among the monarchs of legend. I, I, what, 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 what? <laughs> you're just here. Where's all, well, well, all Cena's dead, right? Didn't we, we, I think we killed, like, killed, killed all Cena. Or she died. I recognize you, my grandfather. King Gerard, your highness, I fear I cannot see him myself. 
No matter, the trial is yours to overcome if you seek to lay claim to his sacred blade. What level is this? Battle? You bear the blood of Cornian kings, unsheathe your blade and assert your rightful place. What level are you? Level 40! Yeah, no one stands in <laughs> The Alvin's unit does one damage. Celeste's unit does 14. Okay, yeah, so that's a that's a late game thing, as I expected it to be. Alright. Well, uh now, where was Clive hanging out? Uh Le Bouge Hamlet. Here you go. Uh I have a lapis for you. It's an honor to receive such a fun gift. Damn it. I have another lapis for you. There we go. That's what we like to see. Alright, so the final rapport is available between you two. It should be at the bottom. Yeah. They appear in the order that you got them, so maybe I should start prioritizing the ones that are at the top. Since we've had those for a while. Panzanora's invasion of the province, our defeat was sadly all but certain. Before long, the nobles of our land bent the knee to Galerius, after the next to ensure their houses would live on. Yet the Ashen Blue refused to yield. My father, my family, and my retainers all stood f firm against the Zonoran onset, and all of them perished in the process. I have faith their sacrifice was not in vain, it simply can't have been. But every time I think back on the events of those days, I wonder what my father's resistance truly brought. If only he had surrendered like all the rest, accepted his place among Zenorman's ranks. Perhaps my sister and mother might yet live. Painful thought indeed. Some have even mocked his memory, claiming him little more than a fool who mistakenly thought he was a hero. What other option did he have? To merely lie down and beg for his life the moment he saw that victory was beyond him? For a knight, such actions are the mark of a coward, not a leader. This particular idea reminds me a lot of something in Triangle Strategy. It's as you say, Clive. The sacrifice was not in vain. Indeed, with the very impetus which has since seen you take up his battle. A battle that rages on even now. And were, were we not here to fight it, Cornea would surely be lost to Galerius for the rest of time. We must never forget that, no matter what. Thank you for saying so, your highness. Under Zenorba's rule, the wicked intent of our noble houses has been made plain for all to see. Even should we defeat Galerius, I imagine it will be difficult to return to the days of innocence which came before. Hmm. All this time I thought only of restoring Cornea to my family's rule. Yet I have no knowledge of what the kingdom I fight for even used to look like. Not its history and not its pain. As a child, everything I could have wanted was housed within our castle walls. Never considered what suffering lay beyond, nor did I need to, for that matter. My very existence was that of ignorance, blind to the fundamental truths of the world in which I lived. That began to change, of course, during my years on Polivia. Yet in that time, Cornier was reduced to an ideal in my mind, the name of a place I once knew and nothing more. Fully intent to avenge my mother, to lay waste to Zenora for what they've done to this continent. And for all this time, I fear I have no attachment to the home I've lost. Have I truly the right to be king of such a home? And for a reason as seemingly insignificant as the family I was born to? There's thoughts such as these that instill me in me the same doubts which likely plagued my once plagued my grandfather. I might interject, your highness. That profound uncertainty is precisely why you deserve to rule. To summon the winds of change cross Cornea's fields just as King Gerard did before you. I understand your worries, truly I do. Yet I assure you, they are wholly unnecessary. And I for one am eager to see what manner of kingdom you create in the decades to come. You have my thanks, Clive. To hear those words grants me strength beyond my greatest belief. And I shall do whatever I must to honor their conviction. Yeah, I mean, getting a good king is, uh, is, is cool and, and can, and can happen because, you know, sometimes you'll get a good roll. Uh, unfortunately, you can also just as easily get a bad roll. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so that's the third one we needed with you, so now I can go over here and take care of this. Alright, let us not forget to save. Boom. And go hit you up. All right, Clive. Hit me with your best shot, fire away. You had some pretty interesting rapport conversations. I like your those. Highness, is there a reason you've asked me here? Sorry, there's been a mistake. Sorry. 
I think there's been a mistake. I think I'll start doing this for every one of these now. Indeed there has. Think nothing of it, my prince. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> Okay, so he, he didn't react to it that much. Fran has definitely had the best reaction so far. <laughs> Even if it did break my heart. I'd like you to have the ring of the maiden. I understand. Do you recall your request to me not long past? To join your royal guard once the war concludes? Of course. I also recall you rejecting the offer. Yet I would ask this of you now, even still. Even should you reject my overtures once more. In truth, your highness. I've come to regret the denial with which I met you that day. I realize now, riding for your aim of a good and prosperous cornea will bring much the same to my own home. Would that I could have arrived at the revelation sooner. Though, we may leave the past in the past. In the present moment, I desire nothing more than to serve at your side. It's rare to hear such intense emotions from you, Clive. But that's not a complaint. Your words are most heartening. And I'm glad you've changed your mind. There we go! I can imagine no greater honor than this, Your Highness. Yet you're the only one I could ever have hoped to ask. Please, such generous words are wasted upon this humble knight. Now come. Together, we shall see Zenoira's ambitions defeated. Well, Elaine is super lying. Um, not the only one I could have ever thought to ask, considering I'm trying to romance absolutely everyone. Alright, well. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.